Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Jordan pool. I'm super excited to use this pool card. I know there are a lot of Warriors fans out there as well who are excited that we got a free Dark Matter pool card that you can add to your squads and use Jordan pool in my team. Totally free. A Dark Matter card is going to be really, really good. And like I said, since he is free, all you have to do over here is go over here to the challenges, come down to lifetime agendas, complete, completed lifetime agendas because obviously he completed them. And you're going to have to complete all 40 of these challenges admittedly most of these are pretty easy challenges they're gonna take you one or two games each but um, you can combine them together into triple threat offline games or rookie uh, rookie domination games things like that and complete them relatively easily and if you've been keeping up with these challenges you should be basically done with them the only one they dropped today was this Grizzlies challenge all the other challenges were already ha had already been dropped so you just complete this playoffs first round agenda set and you're gonna get eight free dark matters and galaxy opals which one of them includes Jordan Poole so uh, before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 5,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day and i would really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it let's check out what jordan pool is looking like so jordan is a six foot four shooting guard option or point guard i'm gonna be playing with point guard because he is only six foot four 99 offense include uh, 94 defense 92 driving lamp uh 92 mid-range 95 three-pointer 85 driving duck 96 ball handle 90 steel 92 perimeter 79 block 81 interior 90 94 speed excel and speed with ball and then a 92 lateral quickness so statistically pretty solid all the way around 85 driving dunk tendency is pretty good and then his defensive tendencies are also looking solid 90 pass interception on ball steel is very very good badge wise comes with 29 hoffs a lot of hall of fame badges include catch and shoot corner specialist difficult shots acrobat ankle breaker hyperdrive dimer clamps quick chain mismatch expert blinders circus threes limitless spot up chef giant slayer the rhythm shooter downhill handers for days needle threader set shooter quick first step unpluckable clutch shooter dead eye sniper stop pop bullet passer volume shooter and triple threat juke 30 golds as well include glue hands pickpocket pick dodger chase down interceptor intimidator pogo stick uh lucky number seven bailout tie handle screen machine hot stone hunter unstrippable ankle braces fast twitch menace and ball stripper badge to add would definitely add the brick wall badge the rim protector badge as well posterizer is a good third badge to add uh limitless takeoff would definitely be the fourth badge and then a hustler maybe as well you could also add a couple other ones if you want but he only needs a few badges actually added does look pretty complete hopping into freestyle with jordan pool he's got the afro pool uh he's got the afro pool player build which is interesting um but i want to give a huge shout out to my boy jalex for letting me hop on his account to record this video he's completed all these challenges which i personally have not on my account so without him i wouldn't have been able to record these gameplays for you this one as well as the Jalen brunson gameplay that i'm doing in a little bit but pool is looking solid let's turn off the meter his movement is looking pretty pretty good though i'm, I'm liking what i'm seeing out of the card so far let's turn off all these things so we have our settings that we typically want them but i definitely think jordan pool is going to move pretty well i wish his sigs were a little bit better but they're not bad he's got pro size up which i would definitely prefer to be kobe escape at least or the trey young size up or something like that but jump shot wise it is very smooth very quick very very good i think it's jump shot 28 on very quick i'm pretty sure but i could be wrong but either way it's a very smooth quick easy to green release he's got decent size movement is looking solid he's got quick dribble style overall jordan pool is looking like he's going to be a very very solid card in the offensive end of the court pro three behind the back as well solid dunk animations and then with the afro as well it really does make his player build look better than six foot four which is also super nice in game is he going to be a top five point guard in the game i doubt it to be completely honest because of lack of size his sigs are like od elite but they're definitely not bad um yeah i think jordan pool's gonna be really really good though and i'm excited to use the cards without further ado let's hop into a game and let's get to a jordan pool all right hop into this game let's see what we can do with jordan pool go get a bucket baby first possession of this game my opponent's team is not absolutely it's not particularly great good start though jordan pool getting another i'm throwing down a nice dunk that's what you like to see uh definitely a good start to the game let's get some defense going uh, my opponent like i said not the greatest of teams so this should be a pretty easy matchup i would say but uh let's see what jordan pool can do as we get a foul that was great defense but you know what we'll live with it decent start all right down four to two not the greatest of starts but that's okay we got plenty of time to get it going again uh so he's gonna switch the screen i hate these auto switches that people's base defensive settings just switch every screen which makes it hard to do gameplay with one specific card that being said though pool going right back to the rim throwing it down again his dunking is looking good so far two dunks to start off the game definitely a good start for jordan pool uh, as he calls a timeout why are you calling a timeout i'm confused 
Let's get it going on offense again. See if I can get Jordan a three-point opportunity. The problem with the way that this dude's playing defense is it makes it tough to get threes because he's switching everything. Um, Jordan, pull, holy smoke, screens a 25%. That is a hell of a shot. I am really liking this card on offense. I will say his sigs aren't like amazing, but the card overall is very, very solid. Uh, he's got a nice release, which is super good as he greens a 32% right back. We're just greening lightly. I see you, um, but come on, let's get our offense going. Uh, like I said, with him switching every screen, it definitely makes it tougher to score. Uh, but Jordan Poole going back to the rim. He's going to throw it down again. He's up to nine points. Jordan Poole is carrying our offense right now. Definitely like what I'm seeing out of the car. We just got to get some stops. I, I got no defense, apparently. Show me some defense, Jordan. Come on. I know you don't have a ton of Hall of Fame defensive badges, but you do have that Hoff clamp. Should be able to clamp up on the perimeter for sure. And that's a great defensive possession. That should be an easy board as well. It is beautiful. Let's go push. Get it over to Jimmy. Hit it over to Jordan. Drag back. Give me a give me a screen. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. Cooked him. Oh, yeah. Jordan Poole for three again. Green V offensively. He's looking like the best. Green in shots. Getting to the rim and throwing it down. Definitely looking like a beast to start off the game. Good defense. Yep. Good D. Get through that screen. Good defense, Jordan. Yep. This is great defense. This is great. Oh, get back to the corner. Good. Good defense. This is a great defensive possession. We're hoping now. Yes, sir. We're hoping. Beautiful stuff. Let's get another bucket with Jordan. We can pretty much secure this game if we can get another bucket and a stop. Put ourselves up two possessions. Uh, come on, though. Let's get Dirk into a pick and pop. We can hit our pop if we need to, but he's probably just going to switch the screen, uh, which he does. So we're going to take our, you know what? We're going to take our wide open shot with Yao. It's, why did he pop to there? That would have been a wide open shot, but he didn't. I don't know. He should have popped to the corner, but instead of popping to the corner, he popped to there. And that's annoying. And then he makes a late four pointer. This game is just something else, bro. I sometimes I just don't know what to say. But that being said, it's fine. Let's get into our offense with Jordan. Hit our uh hit our slip. Yes, sir. Yeah. Throw down the dunk. We're fine. All right, Jordan. You're playing great on offense, but our defense, I'm not gonna lie, has not been uh has not been immaculate. Stop again, though. Jordan pool wide open. You gotta stop giving this man space. He is too much of a knockdown shooter. Just like IRL, you gotta step up off the screen. If we could get a stop and stop letting him get fluke buckets, that would be nice though. Cause this dude's offense is not good, but he is just getting fluke bucket after fluke bucket. And that wasn't a fluke bucket. That's just bad defense. I shouldn't have X switched that. I gave up the slip there. I'm playing terrible defense. But offensively, we are hoping Jordan Poole's almost takeover as well. I think one more bucket. It should get him there. We're going to go baseline again. Jordan Poole go up. Draw a foul. Beautiful. We'll take that. Let's see what his free throw release is looking like as well. At this point in the game, every card has a high free throw rating. So free throw is definitely not going to be an issue for any of these cards. But let's see what Jordan Poole's free throw is looking like anyway. And it's super smooth, easy to green. Obviously going to be knocked down. And he's got sharp shooting takeover. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of Jordan Poole on the offensive end of the court. All right, let's control this game right here. We get a bucket here. This game's basically over. He's going to have a tough time coming back if we can knock down a three at this time. Okay, come on. He's switching everything. It's tough. It's tough to freaking three hunt with one card when he's switching everything. Drag back. Come on, get it. Get off a good shot, Jordan. Yo, he might make that. No, we didn't make it, but it's fine. We get a reset. So miserable offensive possession. We still managed to blow twenty or fourteen seconds and get another possession with which we shot a heavy. What am I doing right now, dude? I'm Yao is bailing me out, which is a blessing because the way that i'm playing i don't deserve it but jordan pool stopping there we go green and a seven percent we're gonna get our opponent up out of here despite that last possession being ugly jordan pool played great in that game he had like 20 points as well played phenomenally let's hop back in the main menu and let's review the card so yeah, in conclusion, I would say Jordan Poole is definitely a very solid PG option. I just don't know if he's the top tier elite in the game, especially with being a somewhat mediocre defender, not having the greatest dribble six in the world. That being said, I do think he's a very solid card and a very fun card to use as well. So I know my Warriors fans are going to be thrilled that we did get a good, a good Jordan Poole card in my team. But uh, hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.